welcome to my living room with it's me Dawn and Woody and today I'm going to put together a 10 to 15 minute very simple little session for you to stretch your hips your glutes your back so if you've been feeling stiff from your, your cycling and your running and your basic or your basic triathloning I'm hoping I'm going to help you out today Woody's going to be here just to look cute so we're going to start in an extended child's pose now this could either be done with your knees together or you can take your knees out nice and wide, so maybe as wide as the mat. So whatever you prefer, but we're gonna get in the extended child's pose. If you feel comfortable, bring your forehead to the mat and walk your hands forward. If you struggle to get in the extended child's pose, another option for you is gonna to be to bend your elbows, and give yourself a little cushion from your forehead. So noticing any stiff areas today, this morning, whenever you're taking part, if you're stiff in your glutes, maybe it's your lower back today that's feeling super tight. If you've got your hands reaching forwards, we're gonna just walk forward them a little, walk them a little bit further forward towards the top of the mat and find that little stretch underneath your armpits. We're going to rise up onto all fours. So bring it up. We're going to bring your hands under your shoulders and then bring your knees a bit closer together because you want your knees to be underneath your hips. So we'll do some spine extension and flex. So it's basically your cat cow stretch. So your cat stretch is here. Roll your navel to spine. Find a lovely doming through the upper back body, the middle, the lower back. Let the chin roll forward. And then we're going to go into your cow. So lower your belly button down, lift the chin. I like to imagine your back like a basin that fills up with water. So while we're in your cow stretch or lower back, fills up with water. And then to get into your cat stretch, you want to empty out. So we're going to, as we go into your tabletop, so we're going to go now into your cat stretch. And then really big stretch, so all of the water is going to empty out of that basin as it runs, it trickles down your back. So again, we're going to flow into your cow, belly button down, lift the chin. Okay, now we're going to do the same exercise. We just want to turn your palms, so your fingertips are pointing towards your knees now. And do the same, little cat-cow stretch, okay? Feel that little stretch through those wrists. If this isn't for you, bring your fingertips back to the front and just continue with your little cat-cow stretch. Loosening off the back, the shoulders. Come back to your tabletop, flat back, and bring your palms to face forward again. So fingertips pointing forwards, extend your right arm out to the right side. Okay, now once more with that little cat-cow stretch, just flow between those two positions, your cat stretch, your cow stretch. You can pick up the pace a little bit now and just find that lovely little mobilisation, cat to cow. Okay, and we're going to go to tabletop, we're going to rise up. So we're just going to come up, we're going to bring your hands to your hips to start. So you've got your right leg extended. Turn your toes in, reach the left arm up. I'm going to do a little side bend over towards this right leg. So try and make sure that stretch is coming up and over to avoid any collapsing forwards. Left arm is reaching towards the right side. We're going to bring it back to centre, stepping this right leg forward now. So you've got a lovely little low lunge position here. Your back knee is down. We're going to keep that back knee on the ground. Okay, so you've got your back knee down. And we're going to just rise up. So find that little hip flexor stretch. We're going to reach the arms up. So we're going to reach up. Palms are facing forwards. And as we just sink down into that hip flexor, squeeze the elbows. So we reach up. Take a breath in on the out breath. Coming 
down and forward. Inhale. And exhale down, sink low, squeeze those shoulder blades together. And we'll do that a couple more times, reaching up. And down, squeeze. Once more, up. And as we come forward, we're going to squeeze. Bring your hands to the center, just the left hand. Little twist around to that right side. And you do have the option, if you want to curl the toes, you could lift that back knee to find a low lunge twist or keeping that knee down. So you will feel the stretch in the back of your thigh on that bent leg. Take a breath in and as you breathe out, bring that hand now to the center. If that back knee is lifted, lower it down. Just use this arm to just gently open up this hip. Back foot's on the floor, so just use the right hand. Take that right knee over to that right side. <coughs> and release. See if you can bring your elbows down to the ground into a lizard stretch. Now if you want to, just turn your right foot out. So it's further towards the right side, turn your toes towards that right corner. Now maybe you can bring the elbows down into a lizard variation. If you're unable to bring your elbows down, then feel free to stay up here, up on these hands. Opening up through that hip on the right side. Slowly come out. Now we're going to walk this right foot. We're going to walk that right foot over towards the left side. We're going to go into a pigeon stretch, okay? So if you walk the right foot towards the left side and then bring that right hip down. So if that's not um, a way you can get into that stretch comfortably, you can also come into um, knees under hips, bring the right knee, cross it over and then sink back, okay? So we're going to come onto your pigeon stretch. So we're going to see if we can walk your right foot over towards this left side. Now you might be comfortable coming down here on your elbows. You might even want to take it that little bit further and maybe bring your forehead down to the mat. You will be feeling that stretch in that right hip, in the glute, in those hip flexors. So if you're down on your forehead, on your elbows, we're going to rise up and just hold it here. Okay, so we're going to see if we can bend that left foot. And then we're going to reach the right arm up, wave it back, right arm. So this might not be for everybody, but maybe you can reach hold of that left foot. Quad stretch. Turn, look towards that foot. And we're going to release that right, that left foot with the right hand. Bring the right hand down. We're going to slowly come out of this stretch. So walk that right foot back over to the left side. Bring those knees slowly back underneath the hips. Sink in your bottom back for the moment here. So sinking back. Walk those hands forward to the top end of the mat. Feel that lovely stretch underneath your armpits again. Okay, so we're going to do a little flow. We're going to come from this relaxation position here into this lovely cobra. Just going to flow it forward and back. So sinking back, pose of a child into cobra. So while we're doing this little flow, if today you feel that you need to stay here, then stay here. 
If today you're really enjoying this stretch here, then stay here. Okay, otherwise we're gonna go from one to the other. I'll just do that a couple more times. Okay. As you're here, we're gonna just come up to those knees. We're gonna curl the toes, peel the knees off the floor. We're gonna come up into a lovely downward dog, lowering those heels down. Feel that little stretch in those calves. Pedal it out, pedal it out. So, press, pedal it out. Right heel down, left heel down. Right heel and left. Lower both heels down. Try and lift those hips up high. lower down bring those knees down okay so we're going to now extend the left leg out to the left side so we did the right leg so now we're on the left side so we're here left leg out feel that lovely stretch in that left inner thigh and then we're going to rise up so we're going to bring it up so this time the right arm reaches up and we lean over towards that left side Remember this side body stretch, we're taking it to the side to try and avoid collapsing forwards. Feeling that lovely stretch down the obliques. Lovely, we're gonna bring it slowly to the centre and we're gonna step the left leg forward. So we're gonna find that little low lunge position. Okay, so leaning forward slightly, Keeping this knee above those toes and the heel. You've got that lovely stretch in the hip flexor. So we're doing the same stretches on this other side. So we're just going to rise up and we're going to reach your hands to the ceiling. Big stretch up. Now your palms are facing forwards, lifting up. And as we do that little flow, we just drop the weight forward, squeeze the elbows down and we rise up inhale as you come up exhale as you sink into that stretch inhale lift me up and exhale lower every time you come down maybe you can just get that little bit deeper once more and lower down Okay, we're going to bring your right hand to that centre and we're going to do that twist. This time now we're twisting around to the left. So remember with this twist, I did give you the option to curl that back toe and lift off the ground. Okay, so you've got option one, keeping the knee down. Option two, lifting that back knee off the ground. So you have that super stretch in the back of the thigh on that left side. Bringing that hand down so you can keep that leg lowered. Just turn that left foot a little bit over towards the left side, turn the toes towards the left corner of the mat. So make sure that foot's back on the mat now, that back leg. So you can either stay lifted, gently press it on this left knee so left knee is turning over to the left. You can bring the elbows down if that's for you. You can bring those elbows down. Lizard variation here. So again, opening up that hip. So if elbows isn't for you today, then you are up here and you're on your hands. we have that little pigeon stretch. So I'm gonna give you the option to walk this left foot over towards the right side, and then we're gonna slide the right leg to the back. If you need to come into the other way, the other way is knees under hips, you cross the left foot over the right, and then you slide the right leg back, okay? As long as we're here in your pigeon. So 
Now again, you're either going to be lifted up here or you might be down here on those elbows. Opening up that hip on that left side. So if you're on your elbows, you can come up onto your hands now and see if you can bend that right foot. Okay, bring that opposite hand to the back. So if you've got your right foot bent, see if you can use your left hand. Now this might not be for you. Quad stretch. If you have got a hold of that foot, you want to make sure we come out of that stretch slowly. So if you let go and then slowly straighten that leg out. And again, we want to come out of the pigeon slowly as well. So there we slowly slide that knee back and then bring your hands under shoulders, knees under hips, and just sink back here for the moment. We are going to progress over onto our back, taking the weight off the wrists and just give them a bit of a circle, a bit of a wiggle. Especially if you've been on those wrists, it might feel stiff. Flex and point and extend. Okay, we're going to come onto your back. Take your time to come down and we're going to roll down. If you wanted to use your core, you could do a really slow roll down like this, keeping it nice and slow. There's a little option for you. When you come down, you're going to lift that right foot and just place it on that left hip, left thigh there and then lift. Okay, so we know this is our glute stretch. So right foot is on the left knee. Just gently use your right hand to open up that hip. And as always, you've got the option to use the thigh on that left and just pull to bring that knee in. So that's your glute and your hip on the right side. Okay, if you release that leg, and then we're going to bring the left foot down and just cross the legs here. So now you've got the legs crossed. So you can kind of squeeze those inner thighs together. Lift up. See if you can take hold of your feet. So you want to hold the opposite foot. So right hand is holding the left. Left hand is holding the right. And wall, that's a really good stretch in your glutes, in your hips. Kind of press those thighs down to your belly at the same time. You're kind of pressing those feet into your hands. And release. Bring your feet down. We're going to change it over. So that will be your left foot on the right. Open up the hip. Lift the right foot straight away. You will get that stretch in your glute. Reach through the right and increase. Build that knee into the tummy. Got that lovely stretch through that left glute. While we're here, just softly let your head roll side to side. Notice if you've got any tight areas in the neck and shoulders. So you might find it really okay rolling it one side, but the other side might feel a bit stiff. And release, place that foot down. Now cross those legs, so cross the left leg over the right. Squeeze those inner thighs together, lift those feet off the ground. You should be able to hopefully hold on to the opposite foot again. So you've got the other leg on top. So for me, this is super tight. I'm already aware that on this way with the left leg over the top, that's really tight in my left hip. So perhaps it's the same for you. Maybe you're tighter one side than the other. Might be the same. Sorry about that music. <laughs> A new playlist I've not used before. So you've got that stretch in your glutes. And as you release, we're going to slowly come out of that stretch. As you lower your feet down, bring your feet together, drop the knees wide. Open up those hips in a five stretch. Now you can hold this stretch still to finish. Or you can make it into a little butterfly stretch. And just softly... A bounce. Opening up those inner thighs. Again, you could do that little head roll, so just massaging 
your head into the mat as you just let your chin roll side to side. Center, we're gonna close those knees. We're gonna come up to sit in. So maybe it's a challenge for your core, you could straighten the legs out, bring your arms to the back. Inhale on the out breath, I want you to roll all the way up. And we're gonna just take it forward. So you've got this forward bend here, or if you want a softer version, you can bend those knees up and reach through, take a hold of your, your elbows, and then let your chin roll forward. So I love this one, because then when you do walk your feet forward, a lot of my class members find they get even deeper than they normally get, okay? So you're bringing it down, straighten out those legs, and then you can release your elbows. And just finish off by staying in that little forward bend position. And then slide your hands up towards those knees. Super. Bring yourself up to sit in. Taking the arms out wide, do a little back and shoulder stretch. I said 10 to 15 minutes is 20 minutes. You've got twice as much. Lower your chin down. Reach the arms up, bring your palms together. A little tricep stretch. Elbows high, try not to crush your chin. So keep the elbows up and then reach up. Bring it down, can you bring the elbows together? And release. Thank you for joining me for our little stretch session. Me and Woody. Have a good day. Enjoy your cycling. Enjoy your swimming. Enjoy your running. Keep moving. Take care.